So here at Affirmed, we're very excited today to celebrate not only Cielo Carmel, but this is another milestone for our company. This is our 40th affordable housing development today here at Cielo Carmel. Our project, Cielo Carmel, consists of 197 apartments designed by Humphreys and Partners to promote a livable community that seamlessly blends with the neighboring communities. Given the dearth of affordable housing here in Southern California and San Diego County, it is no surprise that Cielo Carmel is already 100% leased and has a waiting list of over 2,000 persons. We offer here one, two, and three bedroom affordable homes for families and seniors who earn between 50 and 60% of area median income, which is about 30 to $60,000 a year in annual income. Resident amenities here include a 2,000 square foot clubhouse, a swimming pool, three tot lots, walking trails, and three laundry facilities. A stellar location, Cielo Carmel is in close proximity to the 56 freeway, a brand new shopping center uh, just to the north of us here, and outstanding top rated schools, some of the highest rated schools in California. We are very proud of the development you see before you, and I can say with great confidence this community will be in high demand for many years to come. I, I'm very, very conscious that uh, for California and for San Diego, one of the biggest challenges for our competitiveness is the price of housing. Uh, and uh, we've got a lot of work to do on that throughout the governments, the federal government level. I know we've got fa federal tax credits. We'd like to extend and expand that program, uh, hoping for um, the opportunity to do that next year. At the state level, we've got some serious permitting issues to deal with, with um, the governor's buy right proposal and some of the CEQA issues. Um, we, could, we could use some relief on that. And at the local level, it's, uh, it's a lot of work to do, too. And I started uh, my, my career in government as uh, the representative for District 1, which includes this area, which we called the future urbanizing area, which is getting pretty urbanized now in the present. And also um, to the west, um, maybe that's not the west, so to the west, um, uh, the area, the Santa Luz and um, community del, the Del Sur developments. And we built into those as part of the ballot approval that there's a certain percentage of the units would be affordable. It doesn't seem like all that long ago. How many of you were here for the groundbreaking 15 months ago? It was hotter than blazes and we got that dirt turned. Um, it, I can't believe we're already here to open the doors. As you can see, Cielo Carmel is in a perfect location close to excellent neighborhood schools and the newly completed village at Pacific Highlands Ranch. It is within walking and biking distance from the village center, schools, and the much anticipated Pacific Highlands Ranch Community Park. When it is completed, the park will be an incredible community asset that residents of Cielo Carmel will have access to. It is encouraging to see 197 affordable family apartments become available in this community. Every San Diegan has a right to succeed, to provide for themselves and their families, to better their lives. Developments like Cielo Carmel provide this opportunity. Affordable housing is linked with our economic well-being and impacts our potential to be economically competitive, which has always been a top priority for me. R&B management and affirmed housing de deserve high praise for developing a beautiful complex in a vibrant neighborhood that will provide comfortable housing and increased opportunities for fellow San Diegans. This project adds to the well-rounded, master-planned community of Pacific Highlands Ranch, and I'm happy to be a part of this grand opening today. I'll point out that October is Housing America Month across the nation. It's a time to raise awareness of the need for quality affordable housing for everyone. So it's very fitting to be here today to celebrate the grand opening of Cielo Carmel. What a wonderful example of what affordable housing should be. Jim Silverwood a few minutes ago pointed out to me, if you all will look to your right and my left, the property nearing completion on the other side of the blue fencing over there is a market rate private sector property. The appearance, the quality, or the structure, everything is the same as here. There's no difference. The rents over there, Jim tells me, are going to be three to four times the rents here. 
this is the way it should be. This is the way it should work, that everyone who is a citizen of, of, of San Diego, who contributes to San Diego, has an affordable place to live in San Diego, so they don't live someplace else and drive in. This is wonderful. This also fits with the long-term goals of both the Housing Commission and the city from a policy standpoint, that the affordable housing not be overly concentrated in any one part of town, that it be scattered throughout the community. One of our long-term goals is to make sure that we get more and more affordable housing north of the eight. And this is a good example of all this, of the placement of the affordable housing, the quality of the affordable housing, and what it's going to provide as a function to our neighborhood. So Jim, this is a job well done. We thank you. This is wonderful, wonderful work. The Housing Commission's participation in this was to authorize the issuance of some $34.6 million in multifamily housing revenue bonds, uh, which represented a little more than 72% of the total development cost of some $47 million. We celebrate the, this building, we celebrate the beauty that's been created, but we also celebrate the impact that we've had on other people's lives. Certainly, all of us every day have an impact on other people, for good, for bad, and most of the time, we probably don't even know the impact we've had. So I'm going to share a couple of stories with you. I'm going to not say the names for confidentiality reasons, but there are people that are living here in Cielo Carmel right now. The first one is a, is a woman who grew up here in, in this area, raised her family here, lost her husband way too young after a, a, a year of illness, then ended up having one health crisis after another in her family. Her mother, her mother-in-law, her, her stepson, and she spent years caring for them. In the end, ended up losing her house, and here she is, she's homeless. So she's a strong woman, she's tough, and her first thought was, you know, I like to camp, I'll get my tent, I'll, I'll, I'll keep looking, I'm gonna find a place, it won't take long. She spent a year living in her car. She was in that line that was out here at 5 a.m. in the mornings to get a place. And she's here now. And I wish you could see the joy in her face because it, it's really something to behold. So this has really been one of our most desirable properties. And we have had, as Jim said, a very long history with the firm and with Jim. It's, it is about 18 years. And over the years, we have invested with, uh, with the firm 191 million dollars of, of equity as an equity partner and out of that affirmed has developed just shy slightly shy of 1900 properties which which is a great 1900 uh, apartments that is to say so that is a lot of production that has come out of the capital all of which was derived via uh, the tax credit program so it's been a an incredibly safe and secure method for providing equity to companies like Jim's, but Jim's stands out among any of the others. So with that, I thank you very much for this opportunity, Jim. I really do sincerely mean that. There's kind of an old saying that uh, the two happiest days in a lender's life are when they close the loan and when the loan repays. <laughs> but I will tell you that when you are in this business, this is the happiest day of a community development banker's life. And it's easy to see why. You take a look around, 197 units for families, working families, in a beautiful situation. Doesn't happen easily, as everybody that's come up here has said. It takes a village. I can't list all the people that worked on this. 14 different Bank of America Associates worked on the closing of this loan. Yes, 14. And for all of you in the room that made this happen, um, and you heard the wait list of 2000, from the permanent lender standpoint, right, that's music to our ears. But it isn't music to your ears. That means you know so many more people didn't get to live here. So yes, Jim, you can't stop now. You guys need to figure out another 40, and we've got to get those people housed so they can become part of the community.